Hey everybody, let's be talking in this video about hosting and Firebase. Firebase provides hosting for us, but we could host only HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. But really amazing, and Firebase, the, it, it's, it's part from Google, so there is a server distributed around the world in different countries. That means every client will have access to your data and very fast. Because it, it, they have reliable data in Google. So you could use normal plan or you could upgrade your plan here to different plan with different sizes for hosting and other stuff. I will use the normal plan that available for free for me. What I want to do, I have this project here in my GitHub. Make sure you go to my GitHub. Then you go to the repositories, look for something, name it bootstrap. So just this one. I would use this project. I just clone it. I download it as zip code. I just add it to my file. This is a simple project for have CSS, HTML, JavaScript. So yes, I want to upload it to the server. First of all, I have to make sure I have Node.js in my computer. If you don't have it, please install it from here. After you install it, that's great. Go to your database and just click create start. It will ask you to do this line in your command windows. So just open the terminal or command windows and write this line down. Okay, here you go. It will take t some time until he updated this one or he installed it for you. So make sure you already have Node.js because he used Node Package Manager. Node Package Manager is part from Node.js. What for, for some time and we'll be back. Here we go, install it. I just make sure I clear it. Now I would go to the CD to the direction of my project. So where is it? Here is it. I hit I download it. Let me just extend it. So here is it, my project. So, okay, let me just rename it. It's better to remove this master from GitHub. So just have that bootstrap. So now I add it here. Then I click enter, ls. Here is the files that I have in my project. So you know, if I just open it, this one is very simple project. An index, it's really easy, just simple page. And the offers have some, some offers will be display. You will have it also same, this one. Yes, this what I have. I want to upload it to the server. So first of all, I will say, okay, uh, Firebase login. I want to log into the my Firebase. If you are first time, he will not. You will not see this one directory. He will ask you to enter username and password. Then he will go to web to to login, and then you will see the screen. For for the second time, you will not see the screen. But then you say okay, Firebase. You say in it. You will see this one initialize. You say, okay, what do you want to do? You want to do deployment or you want to do database? If you see, I could I could change uh, the uh, the arrow up and down using the arrow that I have it in my keyboard. So I will say up down. I'm using hosting. Okay, I'm using I'm select hosting. I click enter. You will take some time. You say, okay, which product you want to use? If you see, he have three, but the the one that you want, I want to use in my project it. As you remember when we did it, it named it demo app. If I go down, make sure, okay, I'm go down. This is demo app. I will say enter. I say, okay, what, uh, what is you should use for database rule? I will say enter. I, I don't have anything. You say, what do you want to use as a public? I will use enter. Do you want compression states index all? I will say yes. Then it will take some time. Here you go. If I click ls, I have to see the new folder for my public. If I go back here, I will see all these files and this is my files. What I'm interested in is not public and is not this one, database and rule. I don't want to use them. I want just to move this file that I have it to public folder. So yes, move it. Or already, he already add them, but okay. Just move them. Then we done. Here you go. Say Firebase. Deploy. It will take some time until he deploy to the server. Here we go. Everything is done. He say, okay, you have Firebase and you could go and see it. So if I go to my Firebase dashboard, yes, I have this URL. If I click on it, here we go. This is my website. Imagine now I want to use, uh, I, I had in my files here, file name it, um, offers so let me just make sure this page is working okay so let me go add it here there you go yes it's working so if I want to use it in my application it's really easy to use it 
like for example you want to use it as in web view you say okay i have i have to use 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 permissions internet i'm accessing to internet then i want to use web view so let me go down here and I try to add some web view where is the web view so make sure web view is down this one web view yeah so the name of this tool is web view if i go back here on the code let me just take this painting i give it some id android id i would say web view okay if i go back to the code I define some web view, web view, cool, web view, then I'm looking for find view by id, not finish man, find the view by id, r dot id dot web view, then I want to load it from that url just to make sure web view dot load url, I give it the url that I have it for firepace, then let me rerun it and see what's going on. Here we go, yeah, so I loaded and everything is clear. That's what I want to show you, how you get your local host without paying anything. Here we're done and thank you for watching.